When I started to study Victor Schauberger, I found a sentence, a quote of him where he said, it should be a human right that every human being and every animal has free access, cost-free access to nutrition, water and energy. And when I heard this for the first time, I thought, how would a life look like you know, when every human being has free access to nutrition, water and energy? And I hardly could not imagine that. Now, through these water landscapes, I, I have a clear picture of that. Here you see digging machines working and the project is a, a huge pro project for nature healing. It's creating a retention, water retention landscapes and what we are doing here now is creating the next retention area for uh, winter rain, for to be able to store winter rain. Here in Portugal but as in many many places of the world we are in an ongoing process of desertification. Most countries around the Mediterranean uh, see, are in this situation that they are, the countries are called in ongoing desertification process. And we did figure out that it's not because of lack of water, it's just because of mismanagement of water. Because we have here in the Alentejo, for example, an average rainfall very similar to Germany, for example. But what we also have and can see here, we have a lot high erosion process in the last 50 years. Very high quantity of earth, of topsoil was eroded. So the earth cannot receive the rain anymore. If you look globally, worldwide, that's always two uh, main causes. The one is uh, if people put too much grazing animals on the land, so you have a lack of diversity of plants, so the soil is overused and compacted. And the second is if the trees are cut off. Both, uh, effects ha both things have the effect that the soil is getting too warm. And when, the, when your earth body is warmer than the rainwater that drops on it, the rain wouldn't filter into the earth, but roll over the earth and uh, find itself in the valley where then through straight channels it's let out fast. And with the off-rolling uh, water all the fine particles are washed off. This is uh, the highest valley we have here in, the, in Tamera. So as, and you see it, it is soft inclinated, so that is really uh, good for to create retention spaces because there's no old forest in there what you see there the trees are not older than five years we don't have old trees in there so it is really perfect to store winter rainwater there and as it is the highest valley we can let the water from here if once it's stored here flow down to the whole community for uh, for the irrigation of the gardens but also for to supply for showering and uh, dishwashing and all these things without further pumping and that is a very very crucial point i don't know any country where this wouldn't be the first urgent step to heal nature and uh, the, through the gen network for example there are coming people who are engaged in that in healing nature and finding out solutions and willing to do that and what we found very often in the last years when we did talk about that solution that is so easy, so easy to understand that people didn't believe that. And there are very few engineers worldwide still who can teach this technique. And now I find myself in this position that I'm a teacher for people who can uh, teach these techniques. I had, I was landscape designer before, so I had a lot of experience with building sites on this level. And then it was now in 2007 when Sepp Holzer came the first time here and he brought this vision of creating real water landscapes, water retention landscapes in, in this dimension. And then I learned from him also a lot and since then I know that has to be done.
This land is, to, is meant to be fertile. No? It's meant to be a paradise that can feed its people, its animals and its plants in abundance. If you install retention spaces for your rainwater, what then in five years would happen? Now in any country, be it in Africa, be it in South America, in North America, in India, all the countries which are present here now during the GEN conference, if each of them takes this knowledge to their home place and start building now, huh? in five years you have already paradises, model spot points all over the world where you can see how the, this landscape is meant to be. You know, there's none of these uh, countries which are meant to be desert. Not even Israel, Palestine, sand deserts you know, are meant to be desert. You know? It's all about mismanagement of water. And if these people go home, bring their knowledge or come back here to get the training and then start doing that, within five years it could look very different.